This is the bandan, the house for sale, and it's, um, this is the front elevation showing the sort of drive area at the front, parking for about 20 cars, and um, leading to Udintani on this direction, and going to this direction, leading to um, Amperpeng. So about 25 kilometres from, from Udintani, but nice and quiet, um, nice ornate railings, and gates, okay? Lots and lots of nice outside plants. Heading inside the house, you've got basically a nice driveway, enough parking for, I would say, maybe eight cars inside the driveway, and lovely, lovely gardens. Um, an outhouse building for sitting, uh, internet access, stuff like that, or small office. Then over here, you've got parking for the car, and basically you've got tables and chairs and lots and lots and lots of trees in the garden, lots and lots and lots. Right, then this is the main front entrance with nice ornate doors and uh, marble floors and beautiful um, windows, double glazed windows. But the house is built to a very, very high standard. Okay, this is a sort of tiled area leading to the back. We've got two, um, two raised areas at the back for um, dining and eating facilities. That's the back elevation here. Okay, now leading down this way takes you to a galley kitchen. Okay. And um, basically you've got a, a sink unit here and facilities for washing, washing clothes. You've got uh, fans in the wall, extractor fans for the kitchen and quite nice sink unit. Charlie collects all the water, and recycles the water for these plants. These are new plants basically for growing in the garden, papayas and lots and lots and lots of plants, um, pomegranate. Okay, that's the second elevated area of the house. And down is a second, uh, I thought, well, third kitchen, in fact, Thai style, with your cooking facilities and storage and washing machine. And this is your third elevated area for um, eating and dining, for basically for 12 people, for the music, overlooking the back garden, right? Lots and lots and lots and lots of room. Lots and lots of papaya trees, mango trees, coconut trees. Many, many, many. Um, basically, the, the, the land's about... At the back garden is about 30 metres by 30 metres, adequate for swimming pool and to put maybe two, three small bungalows in the back garden as well, if you want to have a sort of small resort. That's the, the entries leading into the house from the back. Um, the hall very, very long, about maybe well, four metres by 25 metres, and nice cornice, beautiful inside, nice, nice doors. Um, lots and lots of room inside the house and the marble floors to keep the house nice and cool. This is the kitchen area, kitchen inside the house. Fitted units, lots and lots of light. You'll see lots and lots of windows and kitchen units and extractor hobs. They have the hob, the extractor unit and the fan. But lots and lots of natural ventilation through windows as well. So the kitchen's nice and fresh and has corners as well and nice uh, uh, wooden doors. Inside the house is very, very nice. Um, Lovely cornice, lighting, fittings, and basically a very, very nice, comfortable house to live in. Very nice. This is the living area, the well, living room, in fact. Um, quite large. In fact, the living room was basically two double bedrooms. I decided to make it into one big, big room. But you'll notice in the living room, it's got two doors, one, two doors. In the middle, you can just put a partition wall up and create two nice um, double bedrooms. One bedroom having two windows and the smaller bedroom would have one window, okay? But very nice ceiling, corners, lighter, inset lights, very, very nice and chandelier and wooden doors. All the houses are done with, with um, dimmer switches so you can just dim the light. So it's quite nice. And coming into the hall again, that's the, the main front door, corners, chandelier, lots and lots of room. And the, the, this is the ma master, master bedroom. Three, three windows again, lots and lots of light, the ventilation and cornice, and a chandelier, and uh, marble floors, skirtings, and double bed, and plenty, plenty of spaces for wardrobes, double wardrobes, uh, bigger than double wardrobes, a yeah, king size bed, and you've got the bathroom with the bath, the shower, toilet, that's the wash and basin, the toilet, the bath and the window for ventilation, and hot and cold running the water for shower. Okay, nice tiled, tiled ceiling, 
Kyle Wall, sorry. See we've got the cornice and no extractor fan here because you've got natural ventilation through the window. Um, we'll lead through the next bedroom. This is going out the bedroom, heading along the hall. Well, there's Charlie and Pond, I'll show you this. La 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 la, there's Charlie and Pond. Marry photograph. Okay, that's Pond and Charlie. That's the farm. Okay. This is Charlie and Pond in traditional clothes. Okay. So basically a nice, nice, nice house. Here, this is just a, a, a walk-in cupboard with lots and lots of shelves and it, it gives you um, access to the attic. The attic is very, very large. And here's another um, toilet, toilet and wash and basin, toilet wash and basin. And extractor fan because there's no window in this room. And you've got the nice cornice, okay, tiled floor, tiled walls, very, very nice. Okay. This is the third bedroom. Two windows, one window, two window, and double bed, marble floors, and you've got in here shower and toilet. You've got the, the corner shower unit with the hot and cold running water, and you've got the, the sink. Okay, tile floors, and corners. And this one's got natural ventilation through a, a back window. So, all in all, all in all, nice bedroom, nice corners. Okay, windows. Plenty, plenty light. You'll notice that the sun is coming through the... I've made this video early morning because the sun is too strong in the afternoon for the video to take effect. Okay, chandeliers. Lots and lots of um, wall space. Lots and lots and lots. Okay, many, many do. More like a... I say inside, actually, like a miniature, miniature hotel, basically, inside. It's free-flowing because when you open the front doors from coming in the drive, it's just a natural... Whoa, right the way through the house. About 50, 50 metres right to the back and into the glorious garden. Okay. And then down here, like I say, you've got the beautiful, beautiful garden. Okay. But it's so quiet here, you can hear the birds singing. Yeah, in the background. Yeah. So quiet. The birds come to you, feed. And I grow a lot of papayas and uh, bananas, uh, coconut, mango, and tomatoes. Lots of vegetables I grow. I grow the vegetable with, with the papaya. Okay, so the vegetables go to the ground and beans and stuff like that. Lots of stuff to eat in the house. Okay, that's all the young trees. That's a water house. Okay, so basically that's that's the house. Lots and lots and lots of room. Um, if you want, I'll show you more videos. Just ask and I'll show you more. Okay, thank you very much. That's Charlie signing out. Bye-bye.